everyone welcome back in this episode we're gonna go ahead and implement a second page and uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it so I have my application open here I have it running and what I want to do is I want to create a pages folder and in that page let's just say not a directory but home.view so I want to create a home page right and Tim before I was scaffold and what I want to do is just basically <clears throat> this form right here I just want to stick it in there and clean up my uh, main main application so uh, let's go ahead take these put them here and this will require a little bit of cleanup. Uh, let's do that after. Um, just grab. I think we'll we'll be good with grabbing just all of this stuff. Go ahead and put it here. Uh, I'll st I'll keep that. So. Uh, we want to just import um, the um, home page now. So pages, I named the pages right. Yep. So home. Home components. Okay, and now let's go ahead and say home and close this off. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and add a dot to this so we can have our component recognize other components. Cool. And now let's go ahead and add a second page. And let's call it login.view. Nice. Um, so again, scaffold. And what I want to do is I want to bring in these components in here again. Okay. And I would like to register them. <clears throat> okay. And in here, I want to build a... A second form and from the name I guess you can already sort of uh, guess what it's going to be all right so I can go ahead and um, from my home page I'm gonna copy two text fields put them here I'm gonna call one username and the second one let's remove this I'll call password. And let's make a button. Call it login. All right, cool. So now up here, what we want to do is we want to be able to navigate between these two pages, right? So let's go ahead and do the simplest thing we could probably do. Let's uh, copy this login component and register this and render it like so okay so we have a bunch of errors because uh, we're not binding any of this data so let's go ahead and make sure that our login form actually renders so our form is going to look something like uh, username and password uh, rules for now I'll scrap the rules and text limits so yep we are still we'll still need uh, form valid so let's start with 
Let's start with truth. Cool. Okay. So here we have our form on the bottom. So let's try to navigate between the two pages from our app. So what would you usually do? So let's create some kind of state to be able to manage. So here we want to return page, right? And we will start at our home page, okay? And what we want to do is v if uh, page equals home the else if page equals login and I have cut off one end here okay <clears throat> and now on the top we can say something like div a home and login on click page equals oh if I can type today home copy this and login cool oh, so now we can navigate between the two pages don't look um they don't look good it doesn't matter any uh, really but uh what we want to uh, focus on is if if you haven't already guessed it this is going to be a build up to the view router and uh, uh let's go ahead and think about how can we simplify this so we have two buttons that's all right but we have these two components that we're controlling uh, in a suboptimal way all right what if we have 10 pages, right? We'll have to make something like this, which is eh, not ideal. So let's make a computer property, right? And let's make another property and let's call it component. And let's set the default one to home. And now what we can do is we can render a component and we can say that Find is computed render component component. There we go. And now we can say if this page equals home. Turn home. Else, if this page equals login, turn login. Okay, and now what we can do is take this render component and stick it in here. All right, let's comment this out real quick. And let's see if this works. Okay, <laughs> I didn't actually need this one. I don't know, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Let's go ahead and rename this to component. Okay, cool. We're not going to be building up our uh, DOM tree, but rather we're going to be uh, handling this through our component. So we have our basic navigation here. And before moving on to the view router, let's actually tackle a separate problem that we have right here this component registration so if you can imagine every single page that you're going to create you're going to have to register these components on every single file which is you know it's, it's going to get pretty boring real quick uh, let me take this one i'll actually close this and let's go into our fault structure where we have our components let's uh, create a new directory and let's call it generic right these are generic components these are very reusable components this is something that we can sort of just uh, take and use anywhere on any of our pages right so we want them to be 
available globally and we want to be able to reuse them okay so let's take them and pop them in there move them so everything is going to break because and uh, let's why is it open okay because nobody knows where where, where these components went all right <clears throat> so what we actually want to do is in this uh, generic folder let's create a new file and let's call it index.js all right and then in this index.js what we want to do is we want to do the same thing we've been doing with uh, components all over our application so i'm going to replace dot slash components uh, slash to basically shouldn't have gotten rid of the last slash but hey uh, you get the picture okay let me close this directory here probably make it easier to see and now what we want to do is basically take these components and make our view app use them all right so Let's go ahead and import a uh, view from view, All right? And let's take this and let's put these components into an array, right? And now we can do for each component. Let's call view component. And what we need is we need a name and we need the component itself. All right. So components actually have a property called name. Okay. And what we want to do is now we want to go into each of our components and we want to specify this name for them. Okay. So for our form, uh, let's go ahead before our props. Let's call this. form and I'll prepend it with a right for awesome it's going to be a awesome form all right every component is going to be awesome and let's call this a select this here we will call a text area is that a good name? Two dashes. Hmm. Let's remove the dash text area. That should be good. And name. I guess this is really an input, so I'm not gonna call it a field, or should I call it a text field? Nah. Input. Okay. So let's close all of this. And now this is the name of our components that's going to be here. Let's go and ahead into our main.js and let's import. A, we don't want to do it like this. We'd rather want to just not here, but components, generic, and index.js. Okay. So now let's go ahead into our login form. Let's remove all of this stuff. And let's rename this to a form. Yeah. So a input. And yep, a input, no matching and tag. A, let's put some matching and tags. And let's do the same in our home directory. So let's remove all of this stuff. Remove all of this stuff. And uh, let's go ahead, the same thing, a form. Take this, put it here. A input. 
So let's control H, control V to paste this in and let's replace all of these, right? A select. I'll just uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I took it take uh, the fast route with the uh, one uh, input field and uh, I don't take the fast route with the other, but we're going to do a text area and let's, oh, come on, guy. Okay, let's refresh, make sure our console's clean. There it is, and cool. So now we can reuse these components globally in our app without having to import them. And we have our custom tags. And another thing that this allows us to do is get rid of closing tags so they can be self-contained components, All right? Isn't this awesome? Isn't this uh, why we wake up in the morning? I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely a reason to, you know, Celebrate, look at this, beautiful. Same here. Delete this closing tag. We don't need you, guy. Oh. Boom. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, and I guess, go on. Let's, uh, let's add some, uh, Validation username and password rules. Let's make sure we rules. We bind them. I want some space here though. Username, password rules. So White space. They don't really care about it. Um, password though, it's required. Uh, username is required. Um, let's say password needs at least six characters. And uh, username, I, I, I don't mind username being anything. Uh, so let's see, put something here, at least six characters. There we go, nice. Uh, another thing, let's actually go into, let's um, close everything. And let's go into our text field. And I want to be able to pass a type all right so i want to be able to uh, specify what kind of uh, input field it is is it an email is it a password etc so required false it's not compulsory so string and let's go ahead i want on my input i want to bind type to type Let's close this back to our login and here I want to specify type password. Okay, and there we go. Nice. So here's our login form, some cool navigation between two pages. Our application is slowly starting to uh, take form and shape. Uh, this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying these. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you know to leave them in the comments because I like answering them as well as liking you guys commenting on my videos. But as always, see you in the next episode.